Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If this is the first time we are meeting, my name is Michael. I am a fourth year med student and I'm currently applying for emergency medicine residencies. So if you guys didn't see my last video, I talked about how I was gonna make a video talking about VSLO, um, which is essentially the application website for your audition rotations that you're gonna do at the beginning of your fourth year because it's not very user-friendly, uh, it's not a appealing to the eye or anything like that. So it can be a little bit confusing when you get started using it, but I promise guys, it's really not that bad. So um, let's just jump into kind of the things you need to know about this website and kind of go from there. So the first thing to know is the timeline. So your schools will let you know when to start filling out the application for VSLO. Um, it's going to be probably around March or April. I cannot remember the exact date and I think it changes from year to year, but definitely keep an eye out for that information from your school because the most important thing is to submit your applications the first day that you're able to because this is like applying to medical school. So the earlier you apply, the better chance you're gonna have of getting a place at one of these residency programs. Now keep in mind, we're only talking about doing your audition rotations. This is not applying for residency. It's just applying for your audition rotations. So the earlier you get your application in, the better chance you're gonna have at securing a spot at these residency programs that you are probably very interested in checking out. Now, I wanna give you guys a word of caution um, because doing these audition rotations is a double-edged sword. And what I mean by that is if you go into one of these audition rotations and you absolutely suck, you can basically kiss your chances goodbye of getting into residency at that program. So it kind of brings up the question, should you be applying to residency programs that may be your top choice? And that's hard to answer. I mean, it's a yes and no question because you potentially want to do an audition rotation at a place where you want to do residency because you want to be able to check it out. You want to be able to see if it's a good fit for you. But at the same time, if you don't do your very best and you don't click with everyone, then you're basically killing your chances of getting into residency at that place. On the other hand, if you don't do an audition at... Um, a place where you wanna do residency, then you're not giving yourself that chance of seeing how it actually is at that particular program. And if you actually end up doing really well during these audition rotations, it significantly boosts your chance of getting into residency at these particular programs. So long story short, do your absolute best on your audition rotations because they will make a huge difference if you do really well and you have a very good chance of getting in to that program if you do well. All right, so enough of that tangent. Let's let's talk more about VSLO and how to actually secure a audition rotation. So it's gonna be around March or April uh, when you actually submit your application. But prior to that, you need to do a little bit of research on the VSLO website. So you need to jump on you need to go to the Find Electives tab, and on the left-hand side, you can see um, a bunch of filters. So put in the specialty that you are interested in, and a list of every single residency that offers an audition rotation will pop up. Now find the programs that most interest you and just click Save for now. That way you don't have to keep going back and forth and trying to find these programs. Just click Save, and if you see up at the top, right hand corner, there's your saved electives tab. And you can just go there if and when you wanna go back and either submit your application or just learn more about that uh, particular program. Now, the reason you want to look at the programs before the applications are due is because a lot of them will require like a letter of interest or like a personal statement. Why do you wanna do an audition rotation at that place? So you don't wanna go to submit your application and it's unable to be sent because you didn't do that letter of interest yet. Now, the other reason you wanna go through and see what all of the requirements are for these specific programs is some of the programs are gonna have different requirements. You need to make sure like your vaccines are up to date. You need to make sure your school sends you a letter of good standing 
You may need to upload a photo of like your COVID card. So there's all these things that you guys are going to need to upload to your profile, which you can do under the My Documents tab up at the top. These are all things that you should be doing before the application cycle opens. So as soon as you have access to your account, you're going to want to start uploading all of these required documents. Now, I'm not going to go through everything that's required. That's going to be on you guys to kind of figure out. Um, it's very easy. Your school will probably have a list. If you go on these programs, they will have a list of required things specific to their program. So make sure to go on there as soon as you can and start looking up programs. Now, you may be asking yourself, how many programs should you apply to? And I think that varies from specialty to specialty. You want to apply to a decent amount. So I'm not talking about like 40 or 50. I'm talking about maybe like eight or nine programs um, because you're not going to get accepted to all of them. But you want to make sure that you're able to do at least um, one or two of these audition rotations. Um, you need to at least do one because you need to get your standard letter of evaluation, your slow, which I talked about in my last video. So go check out that video if you haven't already. But for specialties like surgery, um, it sounds like you guys do a lot of these audition rotations. So up to five, six, maybe seven. Um, whereas emergency medicine, which is what I'm doing, you really don't want to do more than probably three. So it definitely varies from specialty to specialty. So you want to make sure you're applying to a decent amount so that you can at least get that minimum number of audition rotations. Now, when you go to apply for an audition rotation, you're going to be able to select a date range. So it's usually one month at a time, starting some sometime in like June or July or kind of the first dates. And then it'll go pretty much every four weeks up until, you know, even probably February. Um, that being said, you want to do these as soon as possible. So July, August, September are the main months where you're going to want to do your audition rotations. Um, so that way you can get letters of evaluation and be able to submit those in your uh, residency application come October. But like I said, there's several dates to choose from. You can choose several dates for one particular program. So you can apply to one program and say, hey, I'm available during these three separate time frames." So you're applying to July, August, and September. And when you get your acceptance, they will only accept you for one of those dates. So my recommendation is, for all of the programs that you apply to, apply to multiple sets of dates. That's gonna give you the best opportunity and the best chance of securing an audition rotation. This becomes tricky, you guys, um, because you're gonna start getting acceptances and they only give you about a week to accept or decline um, an offer to do an audition rotation. The tricky part is you may not hear from your top programs. And so you're left with this dilemma of, do I accept this offer from a program that I'm not super interested in and see if my um, top programs offer me an acceptance, you know, in a, in a week or two or in the next couple of weeks. So if that's the case, I would go ahead and accept that offer because there's no guarantee that other programs are gonna offer you uh, a spot doing an audition rotation with them. And the last thing you wanna do is not have any, you know, audition rotations lined up. Now, you can cancel an audition rotation, say your top program gets back to you for a specific set of dates, but you already accepted an audition rotation at a different program for that same set of dates. You can um, cancel it, but I would caution you guys because that doesn't look great. Um, so if it's at a program where you're willing to say, hey, you know, at this point, if they don't offer me a residency interview in the future, then go ahead and just cancel it because obviously you don't want to go to that program. Keep in mind, though, if you're going to cancel an audition rotation, you got to do it like... You you got to give them at least a month's notice, okay? Don't be doing it a week or two weeks before the start of your rotation. Like, do not do that. That will piss so many people off. And these programs will talk. So 
not saying that they're going to talk, you know, about how you canceled an audition rotation, but it is a possibility and it does not look good and it is not very professional. So as you guys can see, it gets very tricky with with managing all of these different dates, all of these different programs. You know, you hear from maybe some less desirable programs first and you're like holding out hope to maybe get um, an audition at maybe one of your top two programs. And so it just becomes very tricky. It's hard to give, you know, solid advice because everyone's situation is different. Um, you know, you have to factor in travel costs as well. Are you going to have to travel to these places? Or are they in your hometown or in the town that you're living or where, where your school is at? So there is one trick that I'll share with you guys. These audition rotations are job interviews for residency. And normally they'll offer you an interview for residency upon completion of your audition rotation. So usually within the last week of your audition rotation, you'll actually do a formal interview for a spot in their residency program. So if you don't hear back from maybe some of your top uh, programs that you're interested in for residency, a good piece of advice would be to try and do an audition rotation with them around November or December or January, because not a lot of people are gonna be signing up for those dates. And like I said, upon completion of that audition rotation, they'll offer you an interview for residency. So this is really good if you're trying to get into a residency program that's pretty competitive and maybe your scores, your grades or whatever on your application uh, is kind of like maybe not a red flag, but not, you know, a very competitive aspect compared to other applicants. So doing an audition rotation can kind of bypass that whole, the whole application system, and you're able to get an interview by doing an audition rotation. So if you really want to go somewhere, then make sure to secure an audition rotation so that you can get an interview for residency. So guys, there's really not too much more to talk about regarding VSLO and audition rotations. This is the website to apply for your audition rotations. Um, usually your acceptances will come through your email but you can always check uh, the website as well to see kind of the status. You guys can expect to hear back from these programs within as soon as a week. And then just keep in mind that programs don't always start looking at applications the first day. So sometimes when you look up a program on VSLO, it'll say when they start you know, going through applications. So make sure to look at that date. Don't email the programs, okay? Whatever you do, don't email them. It's not gonna make a difference. It's just gonna annoy them. And then you'll be able to monitor all of your applications on the homepage. So at the very top, it says dashboard. And then you can see applications in progress, applications under review, and then like pending offers. So I would say, honestly, the hardest part is one, uh, researching the programs beforehand and getting all of those documents uploaded into the system. And then two is managing all of the dates that you apply for. And then when you start getting acceptances, trying to juggle, you know, making up that schedule because your school is not going to help you do that. That's going to be on you guys to make sure that you are managing your schedule and managing all of these audition rotations. If you guys have any specific questions, drop them down in the comments. Be happy to answer those for you guys. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, I Hopefully I'm not you know, missing anything, but like I said, I'm happy to answer you guys' questions. And yeah, good luck to everybody applying for audition rotations. This is an exciting time. It's uh, the beginning of a very stressful time as well as I talked about in my previous video, again, link in the description, but uh, you guys should really enjoy this. Re just remember, this is a job interview for residency. So make sure you are the best medical student out there. Come early, come prepared, look engaged, look interested. Um, and I think you guys will do just fine. Just be a normal human being, okay? Don't be a, like that weird med student don't be a gunner. Don't try and impress them with all of your knowledge. Um, and you guys would be just fine, okay? Uh, so yeah, so I'll see you guys in another video.